Living from payday to payday, gathering valuable scrap around the planet and selling it to the highest bidder. Usually junkyard owners. You never expect it to come across something as valuable as a fully automated factory, utilizing the latest herb world mechanoid tech. Now the choice is yours. Will you disassemble it to not tempt so many raiders troubling these lands? Or will you bring the factory back to its former glory? Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome to a brand new RimWorld series. Took a little bit of a break there, but we have returned. Pretty uh, simple-ish uh, scenario here, using the vanilla expanded mechanoids. This is, it's also apparently a kind of uh, tricky start here as a, uh, as a scrapper. I, I also think, yeah, we don't have pants for some reason. Though no, that doesn't seem to bother us. Actually, are pants a... No, pants, I think, are even, aren't even a... Wait. Yeah. Yes? No? I feel like... I feel weird that we start with no pants, is all I'm saying. The, oh, I forget whether that's because that's just a vanilla thing, or... Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're also in a feralist... Uh, exp uh, <laughs> a feralist infested jungle. So, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be something. How many Feralisks are there anyway? Unalisk, Junglelisk, Feralisk. I mean, I'm probably just asking for trouble with this, to be honest with you. I can't even, I can't even see what's, what's out there. I can't even, what is this? Gomophyria, it's some kind of plant. An unusually tall plant with bright pink nodules. Nodules are slightly toxic for humans, and it produces a strange rotten fruit smell, so it's considered absolutely inedible. Anyway, yeah, so... I gotta know, what happens if I walk on this? Will I die? Will I get immediately eaten? Oh god, I don't even have full... Uh... Full ammo. That's, uh... Alright. Doesn't even seem to slow us down that much. Probably lets the the Fairless know that we're here, though. Is that a horse? It is a horse. Anyway, I don't really have any terribly big plans for this particular scenario. It's just going to be, hey, let's uh, see if we can survive in a jungle full of uh, horrible spiders. And if that proves to be untenable, then I shall simply... Leave. Yeah. That should be easy. Um, hmm. I think... I think what we'll do to start is maybe chop some of these trees around... around the base. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, you should probably get moving. A mechanized weaponsmith. Choose output. Revolver, auto pistol, pump shotgun, assault rifle. Let's say that. And an artillery foundry. High explosive shell. Okay. Here's output. Chem fuel from corpses, chem fuel from wood, mushroom stalks, redwood. Let's say corpses. We'll just feed corpses into it and... I mean, once we get power. Obviously, we've got to get that power up and running. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting, I think. Most interesting indeed. Alright, you can do all the good things. Though, of course, if I set everything to high priority, nothing ends up actually being high priority. So... Uh, what do I want to focus on first? Probably high priority construction, a little hauling, a little cleaning, plant cutting, and and we'll kind of we'll fiddle with things. I'm sure the the feralisks won't bother us uh, too much this early. He said, hopefully. I I real oh no 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 we. Oh, crap. I can't actually, uh... We'll put a wooden wall there, then. Because I'm pretty sure wooden walls, uh, support... Yeah, they support less. Well, we just want to wall off the holes 
Just to make sure no unwanted guests uh, show up. I think. Also, um, because I, I've talked about this in the past, but I... Yeah, I started us off with some research. And by some, I mean a, a fair amount of research, actually. Uh, mostly just in the interests of... Where's that hide stuff we've already researched? There we go. Yeah, I, I wanna... I wanna make sure that we get to the later game stuff as soon as possible. Oh, you know what? There's a big gaping hole right here. Probably should do something about that. Uh, let's see. Really? Do I really need another door? Probably not. I just think since there's like a tile there anyway, we'll, we'll go ahead. And probably should be careful about Porker here. That's a uh, unfortunate name if I do say so myself. Oh, and they're already bonded. Nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so yeah, that uh, that should keep us kind of safe. Though having said that, I better create a walled off. Uh, can I grow in this mud? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I can. All right, I uh, had to be sure. Oh, I can actually grow in this. Oh, good, and I do have terraforming. All right, really good. Oh, I should put resources here. Anyway, so I guess, uh, yeah, some top priority stuff would be, well, actually, uh, let's, factory, huh? Well, we haven't even researched any factory stuff, so that's, uh, not gonna be an issue for the immediate future, but yeah, I, I think this will be a, how long has this been here, since we started? Probably. What? Porker? Porker? Ooh, don't scare me like that. I mean... What what is this, anyway? Is this a plant or a... Oh, it is a plant. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I mean... Depending on how aggressive these feralisks are... are we might be okay. At least for a little while. Probably work on making a table as well. Really good. I mean, day one and we're... We're off to a great start, I think. I choose to believe we're off to a great... Oh, you're not a great constructor, but that's okay. Alright, so the plan is we clear some space. We're gonna want to build some walls. I guess out of wood to start with. And then we'll, uh, you know, bring in some chunks and turn it into stone eventually. Because that's the smart thing to do. What is this? Fermented? Oh, right, right. We got these uh, decay drakes hanging around. Oh, and a little crystal mitt. I think these things eat chunks of uh, rock, don't they? Or what do they eat? Let's see here. Substance. Yeah. Okay, so they'll eat. They'll start eating our chunks. But we want to do something about those in a timely fashion. All right, this should be fun. Oh, hello. Hang on, let, let's get this inside first. Maybe I uh, just kind of take a bit of a peek around the environment. It really disturbs me that I can't actually see the spiders. Oh, wait, there they are. Oh, don't like that sound. Especially because, are they all female? Nope, there's a male. So if we kill the females, they won't produce more eggs. Alternatively, if we light the jungle on fire and burn everything down, then, uh, yeah. But then again, uh, seeing as this is a jungle biome, or specifically a fairless infested jungle biome, presumably, even if we did burn the whole thing down, we're still gonna encounter I say for a second what the heck am I hearing but it's just this 
All right, so not uh, not a terribly big deal. I think we'll probably day two we'll start planting. I guess rice. We'll get a crop or two of rice, and then we'll see where we end up going with that. Probably turn it to corn, so we don't have to farm all the time. Not that farming's bad; it's just probably not something we want to do all day. I think I'll store the plant scraps over here. Yeah, just just over here, and we will also want to get a butchering table. I mean, I guess there's an argument of maybe, where's the electric butcher? There we are. But we don't even have the skill to make it, so not going to happen. All right, another thing day two we'll want to do is probably start getting those wooden walls up. Because we want to have a bit of a, a fenced-in yard. Keep our poor colonists safe. And then we can kind of start digging into the mountain, I think, to create our hill. It's, it's really more of a hill, isn't it? Yeah, we'll dig into the hill, and we'll kind of see where we end up with that. Okay, good. So, day one has been a success thus far, if I do say so myself. Probably want to take a quick peek at power generation here. Gonna need a little bit of space. If we want some power. So, I don't know, that might be, it might take up too much, uh, I guess we could build a wood fire generator just to start with. We're clearly going to have a lot of access to steel on this map, so that's a good thing. Also, I don't know why I'm slowing down time. I don't know, we'll, we'll take our time with this and we'll kind of see where things end up go- where Okay, Porker, please don't scare me. That's a really unfortunate name. I'm going to have to give you a a better name. Or maybe not. Maybe I won't. I mean, it is the name that Emily presumably gave you, unless she bought, uh... Unless she bought, uh, this fella from someone else. Which is entirely possible. Alpha biomes, huh? Mushroom stock. Propane heater. Propane stove. Alien compliance center. Strange waves making everyone love the truly alien weather. Exotic doors. Interesting. Alright, butcher creature, do that forever. Make raw compost, do that forever. But I only want to do it out of plant scraps for the time being. And sure, why not rotted mush? But only stuff within a very uh, select distance. We don't want to go crazy here. All right, so far so good. Might want to focus on that growing, actually. You weren't feeding her your survival meals, I hope. That would be kind of unfortunate. But I don't think that's what happened. All right, so good. We'll get this done. So far, no spiders have come after us. Though they are getting closer or were they always over there maybe they were always over. i would completely lose my mind if i uh like how big is is the spider i know there's like a size somewhere size size uh why well, can't i see it meat well i mean the fact that you get 90 meat out of it of course then again this is all but what do you get out of a rhino? I know there's a size thing. I don't know why I can't see it. 270. Okay, so maybe... Maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. Oh, there it is. Body size is free. Three times the size of a human. Spider is... The size of a human. You know, the one thing that comforts me is the knowledge that in real life, if a spider were to uh, get that big, there's no way it wouldn't get crushed under its own uh, weight. 
thanks to the miracle of the square cube law. Or, you know, it would, you know, because of a spider's uh, biology, it wouldn't be able to survive at that size. You know, it would uh, suffocate because, well, actually, no, no, hang on. If a spider did get that size, it probably wouldn't be a spider the way we see spiders, you know? It would have, uh, would have its own kind of biology. What are you doing? Just cleaning, which means you have literally nothing better to do. Which means it's time I focused on those walls. Oh, shoot. You know what? Screw it. We're not doing a, a meditation heavy, <clears throat> heavy run. I'm not going to worry about it too, too much. That's 75 right there. Maybe, uh, yeah, we'll make it just a little, a little bigger. Something like that. And... Maybe a little of this. And a little of that. Maybe build it, yeah, build it right to the rock. That way we can incorporate that into our design. Fortunately, we do have a lot of wood around here, so this should be pretty trivial to take care of. Or, so I hope. Or the spiders show up. Because <laughs> you just know. Then again, there's a lot of life in this jungle, so maybe they'll, maybe the spiders will bother someone else and leave me to my own devices. A man can dream. I'm just gonna get rid of those because they're too close together for my liking. Yeah. Though, truth be told, I probably would have preferred myself to actually... Porker? Why are you sleeping out there, Porker? I keep forgetting to actually give you a animal sleeping spot. I'll put it right here. Which is still kind of dangerous, seeing as, uh, you know, we have not got around to actually... Oh! Well, you know, they're, they're still... they're still keeping their distance. It's okay. You were saying, Gaslight? Let's, uh, send Porker indoors. Yeah, run, run away. Though a thought occurs to me, it might end up- oh god, there's several of them. Yeah, go meditate inside. Let's just, uh, I, they'll wander off, they'll- they'll get tired and go bother someone else for a bit. Unless they literally come through the walls. Nope, they're going after this poor cassowary. God, and since I know how spiders eat, uh, God, it would be truly horrifying to end up on a spider's uh, dinner plate. You know, seeing as spiders kind of don't eat you so much as, like, they web you up and they liquefy you. Gross stuff. And while you're still alive, possibly. Quite gross, is what I'm saying. Quite gross. You know what? I, I, I think I will just build a windmill. Somewhere. Somewhere around here. Probably somewhere close by. I'll just stick that right there. Oh god, go away! Alright, Emily, let's uh, get going, shall we? And you know what? I also never did anything with your schedule. So let's, uh, let's work from... 9, 10, 11, 12... One, two, three, four, five. Ah, eh, what the heck, we'll, uh... Have a break at noon. One more work. And then... Two, uh... There we are. That's... that's jolly good. Probably make cooking a higher priority because, you know, if you don't cook, you don't get to live. Alright. Still need a lot more wood, though. So let's, uh, continue chopping those trees. 
which is also handy because it'll it'll uh yeah clear up some space around here my goodness there's a lot of really not grown trees aren't there but you know what? We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine as long as I can get those walls up before all the Feralisks. Uh, I'm going to have to kill these. They're inside the walls. There's just... Oh, God. And you know what the thing is? Despite the fact that uh, the game says they're the size of a human, their sprite is so much bigger, which is probably, you know, for uh, abstract purposes. It still doesn't make me actually feel any better. This wood is going to get me killed at some point. I just know it. I'm going to completely ignore replacing the walls. Probably. I mean, search your feelings. You know it to be true. I'm going to forget about it and then it's going to... It's going to burn down. Oh, you know what? I could make a campfire. That way I can cook these meals. And everything will be fine again. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so good. That's that's there. We'll uh we'll just make simple meals for now. And you know, I'm not gonna put too much effort into it because we don't have power yet. So no sense uh worrying about it too too much. Just a little bit. Probably should have made that fire first. It'll be fine. Oh, what's this? No guest beds. You know what? I will let you come visit anyway, and you can just sleep on the floor. Yeah, there you go. I don't know how many of you there are. I'm just gonna haphazardly chuck a couple of guest beds down. And if I'm lucky, they'll uh, fall... Or, you know, a Feralisk will come after them, and then they'll kill it. I don't want them to die. I just want them to kill the Feralisk for me. Though I suppose it would probably be a wise idea for me to get ammo production up as soon as possible. Well, I wonder. Maybe I should just scrap these. Maybe. It might be the smarter play, to be honest with you, but, uh... Hey. When does gaming by gaslight like, do the smart thing? The answer is sometimes. Oh boy. Kinda dangerous being out there, my friend. Uh, you know what? We'll try to... Great friendships and all that jazz. You have very interesting hair. Mostly because it's like super bright red. Do any of you have good traits, by the way? The answer is you do, actually. I mean, psychopath means you don't get bothered by a lot of stuff. You're pretty. Well, actually, pretty can be a bit of a mixed blessing because it makes people like you, but it also means people are constantly hitting on you. The optimist part is just unambiguously good. And sexuality really doesn't matter. It's just, when you think about it, that's just flavor that makes life interesting. So, yeah. All right. Got a nice little uh, group of visitors here. Maybe they can help us out with some stuff. Got to cook that meat in the morning. In fact, you know what? Let's uh, maybe prioritize that right now. Oh, good. You did have uh, a meal left over on you. Frost leaf. That's something new. And yeah, I'm just going to kind of set that like that. I'm not going to automatically refuel it. Actually, yes, I will, because I, I can't say with any certainty that I'll get around to getting power up before, yeah, before uh, we run out. Time will tell with these things, as it usually does. I really don't like how close those Feralisks are getting to us. But the fortunate, oh, sweet, merciful Randy. They're close. <laughs> The walls are closing in, man. Okay. You know what? I should actually have a door down here, shouldn't I? I'm gonna make this a stockpile for chunks. 
and as usual as well also stone blocks. And we're probably going to want to get started on that in the near-ish future as well. So let's see, where is the old, uh... That's not what I'm looking for. Ah, stone cutter's table. Yeah, we'll just, uh, plop that there and then we'll start working on things there. Ooh, we could recruit Galdus. Do we want to, though? Do you have enough good traits? You're good with animals, good with medicine. I mean, I... Oh, and you're a corporate fixer. And my voice is dying, so it probably means it's time to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like with any new start on the channel, it's always a extra special important thing to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.